All right, this video is going to go over basic Laplace transforms and kind of what that all means. So in calculus, you learn how to do derivatives and integrals. And one thing that we really don't talk about but is true is that you are transforming one function into a completely other function. When you take the derivative of x squared, it becomes a new function of x. When you take the integral of x squared, it becomes a new function of x. Also, these functions have the, or these transforms have the linearity property. So if you need to take the derivative of a number in front of f of x, a number in front of g of x, you could just take that number out and then take f prime, take the number out and take g prime and then add those. Same thing with integration. So the Laplace transform is a different type of transform on functions. So this is the Laplace transform. Um, it is defined by this integral here. So the integral from zero to infinity, you apply this e to the negative st function um, to f of t, and that is how we will transform little f of t into what we're going to call big f of s. So one thing to make sure you have in your notes is the Laplace transform of little f of t we say is equal to big f of s. And you can see down here this does have a linearity property as well. If you take the Laplace transform and you have a number in front of your function, then that number just comes out in front of your Laplace transform. Um, adding and subtracting, same thing with b and um, your Laplace transform on the g function. And so here are some basic functions that you um, will have access to. Um, but you'll use them so much that you will probably commit them to memory. So let's apply these to find the Laplace transform of this function. And I tried to kind of combine all the things that we could possibly have. So we write the Laplace transform of f of t gives us big F of s. Now, t squared is the Laplace transform of t to a power. So I'm going to write this as that power factorial over s to the n plus 1. So in that case, that would be s cubed minus, all right, let's look at this piece here, e to the negative 9t. So I don't have anything in the front, so 1 over s, and in this case, a is equal to negative 9, so I'm going to have plus 9. Plus, now 5 doesn't have a t with it, so it's going to be a variation of this one. Remember, we have 5 then times the Laplace of 1 is a way to think about this, so I get 5 over s. There was a plus here originally, so plus three over, all right, let's look at sine. So for sine of kt, so k equals two, I am gonna do three times two, because I have a k in the top, s squared plus two squared, which is four. Okay, minus three, let's see, what is the cosine? Okay, now I get an S, so 3S over S squared plus 4. And that's how we apply these Laplace transforms to transform this function, little f of t, into a big F of S function.